All right, guys. So we're going to show you to catch some weak fish from the surf. Also known as great trout. I want you to cook them up and get a nice tasty sandwich out of them. Check it out. Guys, we're out here doing a little fall time fishing. It's October. We're in the surf. Doesn't get better than that. We're having fun. We're gonna go over our little uh, rigs right now. We're out here, it's low tide. It's rising right now. We came out dead low. And we got a couple different rigs. We got a Carolina rig, half ounce, little weight, circle hook, cut mullet. This lets it kind of drag along the bottom and cover a lot of ground. And our other big surf rods, we got the high-low rig, got heavier weights to make it stick, and then cut mold again. Uh, hook size, we're using about three or four aught circle hook. You can change it depending on the size fish you're catching. We're catching weak fish in about 14 inch range, so we're using about four aught hook size. Put a nice piece of mullet on there. We're finding cut mullets working better at night because it's harder to see, so it doesn't need, you don't need live bait. They like the scent. One key, get yourself some fresh mullet. We use a frozen mullet, weren't getting any hits. So we came down here with some fresh mullet. Boom, it was in the water for five minutes. Weak fish. Oh yeah. I thought there better be a fish on there. That's a speck, baby. It's not a whiting? That's a speck. It could be. Look at the teeth on that joker. Do they make that noise? Look at that. That's a weak fish. All right, we got the, we got the weak fish right here, baby. I've never fish. seen that before. I've never, I've never seen caught it. fish by tango. First keeper we fish on the channel. See that? They call them yellow mouths. We got this guy on a high low rig with some cut mullet. Cut mullet works great at night because they, they can smell it better. You can't tell. You got something. Oh, bring it up. Jack. Weak fish. Nice, Bill. Rachel with another weak fish. There's a strong How's it feel? Fish. How's it feel? Look at that on the big hook too. Yeah. He took a big piece. It takes a really skilled fisherman to catch a fish like this on a hook like this. You know what I'm saying? Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Look at that mouth. Clay, go clay. Stingray, stingray. Look at that. So, yeah, that I feel skate? like skate. Oh. <laughs> Let him go. I got, I got bit by a stingray, man. <laughs> the little jaws clenched me. Ow, man. If you guys want to keep learning grade A information about how to catch more fish, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn those notifications on. We have a wide variety of videos covering multiple species, how to catch them, great tips and tricks so you can catch more fish. Also, swing by our website to get more in-depth information on the gear and tackle that we love to use when going out fishing. Ooh, they're tasty. Catch them on. Got them on that cut mullet. Cut mullet rig, high low rig, baby. You can't beat it. Clay, go Clay. He's still here. No, he's definitely still here. Rachel, are you on one? Oh, another weak fish. <laughs> weak fish. Yeah, that's a weak fish. <laughs> it's a trout. It's a gray trout. You watch it, watch out for the water. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. Nice, bro. You want Jack? Jack's hooked up. Another weak fish. We're in a school of them now, boys. <laughs> all right, not quite a weak fish. Whiting is what it's all about, baby. October fishing, fall fishing. We are crushing them today. We got weak fish whiting on, on, on. Cut mullet has been the ticket today, <laughs> baby. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. So this is how you eat a weak fish. Scales here, this knife's already a little bit dull, but the more you cut cross scales, Dollar it will get. So Willie is following the bone line right here, going over the backbone, going Inside. over the rib cage. You get the fillet of meat off, can take out some excess bones that get caught up from the rib cage, right out of that piece. So over here, I got a cilantro jalapeno slash serrano sauce going. We're gonna put that on top of some fried wheat fish with some tomatoes, avocados and a little lemon drizzle on top on a hamburger bun. We got some sour cream, we got some cilantro, we got serranos, jalapenos, some salt, and sauteed onions and garlic. Add a little extra flavor flavor. Delicious. You got a little flour, some Italian seasoning, and you throw in whatever spices you want. We did some onion powder, garlic powder, chili, and paprika with some Old Bay. 
all mixed in there. We're gonna dunk the fish chunk in a little bit of egg batter and heavy whipping cream. You can use whole or 2% milk for half and half, just some type of milk. So we're gonna put the fish into the milk and egg wash and then we put it into the seasoning. And then you can even double season it if you want, if you really like that, that thick outside coating on the fish. So you would egg wash, flour, egg wash again, flour again, fry. We wanna get that oil to 350. A good way to check is to throw a piece in there before you start doing your big batches. It's at 350. You just do it until they're nice and golden brown like these over here. And then you just throw them on a little bun with a little cilantro jalapeno sauce. <laughs> this right here is how it's done. We did it. We did it good. We caught the weak fish. Caught a bunch of other fish too. Bluefish, Spanish mackerel. Throwing it all in some sandwiches. Can't beat that. First time eating weak fish. Mm -mm -mm. How's the sauce? What's yeah, the I like the sauce. Nice little kick. Nice lemony. Mm. Good stuff. We personally should have been mad. The bluefish ain't good. <laughs> it's right here. Bluefish. Cilantro, lime, serrano sauce. Little avocado, little tomato, down the hatch, baby. It doesn't get much better. There you go, guys. That's how you catch, clean, and cook weak fish. If you want to keep learning more information about saltwater fishing, check out this playlist right here, and we're going to show you all the tips and tricks we use to be successful in the saltwater. See y'all there.